Would I recommend cycling? Absolutely, 100%. Um, it is, it's good, it's good aerobically and it's good for our leg muscles. Mm-hmm. Not so much the upper, upper body doesn't really come into it. It is, um, it's a good way to, to, to manage one's weight. By itself, it's not sufficient. One needs to manage one's diet. But there's a, there's a virtuous circle with riding a bike and eating well. Because the more nutritious the food, the more fuel you've got for riding a bike. Mm-hmm. And the two things reinforce each other. So if you're about to go, for, if you're going to go riding with your buddies on a Sunday morning, for example, you might have one glass of red wine on the Saturday night rather than half a bottle. Exactly. You might, you might forego the extra piece of dessert and after a while, you just don't miss it. So it works very, very well from a weight management point of view. It's also very good in our joints. So swimming is probably the easiest thing on our, on our joints. Mm-hmm. Cycling is one of the next easiest. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's a fantastic. And the other thing is, it's wonderful for the head because we're out in nature. We hear the birds. We look at the trees. The landscape is always changing. It's never the same as the seasons change. That same stretch of road changes as the season changes. So it's absolutely fantastic. No hesitation whatsoever. Funnily enough, I've just been looking up some statistics on casualties on roads. Mm-hmm. And it is an issue, um, especially here, in, especially in the cities. Um, and personally, I think that um, as a cyclist, one needs to be cautious and careful. We choose sensible places to ride a bike on the road. We avoid the busy roads mm-hmm. and we do it. We take a little bit of personal responsibility. It's very easy to say, oh, that driver, oh, that lorry driver, oh, they did this, oh, did that. We ask ourselves the question, how do we behave ourselves? And again, Borne, you know yourself in the work environment, the business environment, it's very easy to say, it's his somebody, fault. Else, yeah. somebody else did this, somebody else did that. We ask ourselves the question, have we got our own personal responsibility? And we take a little bit of care you could get a nice good coach, teach you how to cycle safely on the road. Um, and yeah, but definitely magnificent form of exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, and how is it from the other side in the um, peak level of someone who's maybe going for competitions or looking to do long distances or really, really wants to improve uh, their like stats and numbers and really go for the high numbers. Uh, what's the difference in like a training and how do people prepare for something like that? Good. Okay. And this will tie in actually to the beginner again. So for, for a beginner, for somebody starting right once a week, take a small, take a small, small action. Mm-hmm. It becomes easier to repeat that action over a period of time. It's something that needs to be done over a period of time. Once, twice, three times isn't really enough. You need to do it. You know, if you, if you could, for example, swap your car for a bike on your commute to work, even if it was only one kilometer, two kilometers, maybe even three kilometers, you won't, depending where you live, but... You, I, I, for example, here in the city in, in London, I could commute into the city of London, which is 14, 15 kilometers faster on my bike before I started the train than I could on public transport or anything else. Yeah. So one can swap out some other activity and we're all time constrained and swap in cycling into it, for example, or a weekends, one longish, longer longer ride at weekends and for somebody starting i would aim for sunday morning is a good time usually because we people have families maybe you get up a little bit early for everybody else is up out and you're back and gradually ride a little bit longer at the weekend and supplement it with even one day during the week and if you can do that three weeks out of four in three months time you won't recognize yourself. Yeah. So that's from a beginner's point of view. And for somebody who's interested in doing longer distances or uh, doing a bit of racing or some bigger challenges or you know, go, go, go to the Alps, 
go to the Pyrenees, go to the Dolomites, go to Spain and climb those wonderful mountains, there's a big reward. You get to the top of one of those. You feel tired, but you feel so good. You need to put some more effort. In. Simple as that. And you put it, the thing to do with it is, is add some, a little bit more structure onto what you're doing. And then a Sunday morning ride might become maybe two hours or three hours. And you need to supplement it with maybe two days a week, even 45 minutes. Um, so one could do, uh, there's, a whole, there's a whole bunch of different things. And I think in, in all of those things, um, in all of those things, Mona, we tend to concentrate and focus on fitness. Mm -hmm. Personally, I always start safety. Okay. And it's a very simple thing because if you have a crash, it affects your training. It affects your attempt to achieve something bigger down the track. So you want to ride safely. And one of the ways that we help to ride safely is have good technique. And the good technique makes us more efficient. So for whatever fitness level we have, the efficiency part of it will multiply it and you will get the most from what you've got. Mm -hmm. So in, that's probably as much as this kind of interview gives us a steer for. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.